Hey folks, welcome. Uh, today I'm doing a session report of a solo playthrough of Clans of Caledonia. This is a 2017 release uh, by designer Juma Al Juju. It was published by uh, I think Karma Games and a few others. And it is, for those unfamiliar, it's, it's uh, very similar to Terra Mystica. In Terra Mystica, you've got a board of a similar size and you build uh, temples and, and houses and as you build these buildings, you unlock certain abilities. In Clans of Caledonia, you do the same thing. As you build a building on the board, you unlock certain abilities. Whereas Terra Mystica, the abilities you unlock are all about magic and spellcasting and gold and so forth. In Clans of Caledonia, the setting is uh, Scotland in the the 19th century and you are effectively unlocking the, the the resources that you're producing. So if I place cattle on a paddock I unlock milk and I can then use that cattle for beef. If I place sheep on a paddock they produce wool and I can use those sheep to produce mutton. Uh, I can place wheat on a field to produce two wheat. If I then place a bakery on a field, it's effectively a bakery which can convert the wheat I produce into bread. If I put a whiskey distillery on a paddock, I can convert, again I'm producing two wheat, one of those can produce bread, one of those can produce a barrel of whiskey. Or I can produce one whiskey and save a wheat, or I can just save the two wheat and not produce anything. Um, and you keep building these things and unlocking more, so if I've got four wheat I can have one whiskey, one bread, and save the two wheat for, for later. Uh, you can sell things over in the market over here, and the price goes up and down. You can secure contracts over here, which is where really the focus of all these goods that you're producing is the main source of your, your victory points. When you produce a contract, you need to send off the goods on the left, in this case two mutton, two cheese, and you receive the goods on the right. Now, uh, when you receive goods, the, so for example there's two tobacco, tobacco just goes up to on this, this global track, and you'll place this in your play area as, as your delivery completed, and at the end of the game you score points based on what you've received. So, uh, this is hops, nine hops, this is one free construction, this is two uh, tobacco, I think. Now, the, 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 the value of these goods depends on how common they are. So, if this is how it all ended up, and we've got sort of six cotton, three sugar, two tobacco. Tobacco is the rarest and most important, so it is worth five victory points. Sugar is worth four, and cotton is worth three. So if this is how I was at the end of the game, I'd get 2 times 5, 10 for my 2 tobacco, you know, no sugar, no cotton, and I'd get 1 point per hop. So you can see here, 1 for 1, so I get 9 plus 10, 19 points from this single delivery. Uh, so you can see a lot of points from, from those goods. Now I'm playing on a, a tabletop simulator because as you can see there's a lot to set up and Tabletop Simulator is great for playing solo games. Uh, you don't have to worry about bringing all these pieces out. In a solo game, uh, we don't play on these boarded areas. You can see there's a slight shading. So this is the edge of the board where this hand runs along here. And all you do to set up is you place neutral coloured workers on all the one spaces to show that they are out of bounds. See, uh, when you build a building, you have to pay the cost of the building. Sorry, I'm zooming around a lot. So sheep would cost 8 gold, cattle would cost 9, uh, field of wheat would cost 18, plus the cost of the area you're building. So this would cost, if I put placed wheat here, it would cost 18 plus 4 for 22. So it's very expensive to build those wheat fields. Um, now to kind of give you a handicap when you're playing single player, you're not allowed to build on these really nice one cost spaces, nor around the edge of the board. So I'm just going to place these all out. I'll be playing as blue, 
and I'm just using neutral colours to um, block those one cost spaces. These will go out okay. Yeah, there's also a randomized board. I'm not going to randomize this, okay? It's been randomized. Uh, you can select slides, then lock and go. Lock the board. Can I lock that? I don't know how to lock it. Never mind. Uh, any other one spaces? There's sure there'd be some down here. One. The mountains are one. should be some more here. I think there are four per square. One, two... Maybe I'm wrong. Last time I played solo I picked up a few as I was playing. You just add the uh, neutral pieces as you go. <laughs> as you find them, this one there. Alright, if you see one that I've missed, so let me know. They're out of bounds, so I'm not going to worry about those. Okay. Um, so, I've got the neutral pieces covering all the one spaces on the board. There are also, uh, I'll flip this over to show the, the one to two player side. You can see here, one to two. Um, in a solo game, when you pass, you get 16 coins. So you basically get 16 coins per turn. The last time I played, I forgot about that, so I was really denied uh, a, lot of, a lot of extra money. Uh, what else I need to do? Uh, fill the merchant track with orders. Now I think I only place five. I'll double check that in a moment. Um, shipping, I've got my shipping down here. These are my merchants. I've got two merchants available. These are bonuses for reaching the ports, which I need to place. Where are the ports? Clan tiles, starting tiles. Well, I think we need two clan tiles. I've got uh, two starting tiles, so I draw one at each and reveal what they are. Uh, port tiles, okay, so a port here, a port here, a port down the bottom, and a port down here. What is this? These are scoring tiles. Ah, oh, yes, I need those as well. Alright, so every round there is a bonus kind of victory point objective. I'll explain what these are in a moment. I'll just set them up. So the game goes for five rounds. At the end of the first round, I get one victory point for every development, I think this is. These are my developments down the bottom. Uh, so I currently have uh, none, I think. If I move the shipping marker up, that counts as one, I think. I'll double check that. Um, I'll go through these in a moment. I'll go through the rule book and I'll, I'll read out what they do. These all start on zero. Okay, what else? Four ports. I have to place the ports out, so flip the ports. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is, haven't seen one before. Hmm, these are different to what I saw in my last game. Uh, this is move the merchant track up or down three before you buy or sell a good. Um, what else? Place the workers, place four port markers, fill the merchant track. Fill the merchant track. Yeah, I've got my merchant track filled. Um, shipping location, two technology cut tiles. This shows the... So most of these things produce goods. When I place a worker on the board, if I were to place a worker here, for example, uh, so foresters, woodcutters have to go in a forest, he would give me four income per turn. Uh, if I then upgrade this technology, it would cost me... I would gain six income per turn. And I upgrade this by either doing an upgrade action to pay 10 coin, or sometimes you get a bonus, where you only have to pay five coins. Uh, pounds, I think it's pounds sterling. Um, yes, I have that. I've drawn the clans. Now I get to look at my clans and draw them. So you can see up here, uh, Clan McDonald will... What do they do? Let's have a look at the rule book and see what Clan McDonald does. Okay, so Clan McDonald... Uh, I can use all my workers, either as woodcutters, miners, or fishermen. All your workers cost six pound and provide four pounds income. Fishermen can be placed on or moved onto all empty 
lock spaces and port bonus tiles, even in a one player game. There are no land costs on lock placement, so I can place my workers on the ocean, it doesn't cost anything for the land as such. Uh, two fishermen may never be adjacent to each other, that's what this means down here. Um, otherwise you deplete natural resources. Once per turn you can move a fish fisherman to an adjacent space by rowing, but only before your main action. That's nice. And you start with river crossing shipping for free. That would be cool. Clan Ferguson. Oops, sorry about that. What does Clan Ferguson do? Um, you start with three initial workers. Um, you start with two lock shipping. One lock shipping in a one to play game. I kind of like this one better. Um, there are fishermen. The idea of just having an extra worker, I do have to pay for him. Actually, probably not relevant, is it? Because it's only a one to two play game, so maybe this one would be better. Um, Alright, so I'm going to put Clan Ferguson away. Take Clan McDonald. This is my clan. Um, put my workers over there. Hmm. So I'm not really not going to be focusing on upgrading the technology of my workers, these things here. Normally I do this to increase the income they're giving me each turn. Because it's a flat rate of four, uh, they're basically all, all lumberjacks that can be placed for free. So I'm going to save money by placing them in these locks. Um, I gain, what did it say, river crossing? Claire McDonald, I start with river crossing for free. Okay, so I, what this means is I can um, basically build across rivers. Um, you're limited at the start of the game by sort of expanding your settlements to adjacent areas, and you can't cross rivers until you develop this technology. I now have this technology. My guys can swim across rivers, and um, as I upgrade that, I can then uh, they can build boats to swim across, uh, to row across lakes rather than swim across it. Uh, okay, so I've got my clans. I now gain. My resources based on this bonus tile. So I get one whiskey and 55 plus 5 pounds. So I'm basically uh, disregarding all of these things. I'll try and move them out of the way so they don't get in the way. Yeah, that board's locked. Okay, so I get a whiskey and a wheat or barley. I'm not sure what they what it is. Um, now I get to place two workers on the board and I do have to pay costs for these. So two workers will cost me six coins each. That's twelve plus five plus the, uh, the territory that I place them on. Now I want to double check I understand these fishing rules properly. Um, I can place these as fishermen, so I could, I, I think I could place these in a nice place next to some cheap terrain would be good. So this is next to a 2, which is next to a 3 or a 4, which would be nice, nice as next to some fields. If I place it here, there's a lot of 3s around there. Uh, I could place here, there's a 5, yeah, I think I like the idea. Um, I've been able to expand out here, expand down here. I'm going to start one guy here. Uh, it's going to cost me nothing. I'm going to start with the other guy way over the other side of the board. Maybe three, four. I'll go here. So he can go two, four, four, expand to this sort of nice cheap terrain here. And this guy can expand around this terrain. Um, you know, my settlement will expand, I'll be building these sort of fields and so forth. Okay, I have placed my settlements. I've picked my clans, placed my first workers, ready to go. Now, uh, during the action phase, uh, normally there's a preparation phase where um, you flip this tile face down. Let me run through what these actually do. Actually, I'll go through them one as I, as I encounter them. Um, so for this first turn, the scoring marker just gives me um, 
one point, one victory point for each technology upgrade. And I already have that one upgrade. Um, it's nice, but sometimes you really want to focus on these. This one, in the first turn of the game, I really want to be focused on uh, getting some sort of settlements out. So, um, hmm. I've got fishermen. I can't build them next to each other. How will that actually work? I can't. Uh, I can move a fisherman to adjacent space. Um, they can never be adjacent to each other, so I think basically I need to upgrade my boats before I can place another fisherman. That's something I might want to do pretty soon. Um, let's have a look at the sort of goods I need to produce. Now I have a whiskey and a wheat. Is there anything here with... well, wheat is a, is a raw material, so it, it'll never appear in here. Whiskey is on these two. Um, this one is slightly more difficult. I need two bread and a mutton. This one, I could convert that wheat. I could build a bakery, convert that into bread, or I could just buy a bread. So you can go over here and you can actually buy these, these, these items. Um, I could place a cattle and then consume the cattle to fulfill that order. Um, I could do this one. This is worth an extra two victory points. I get a free build. Um, probably not necessary at the moment. I might go for this one. It'd be worth about three... Yeah, worth a few victory points. So, for my first action, I'm going to take this order. Now, I've already achieved the whiskey. I have the wheat to produce the... Uh, these, these items will be manufactured at the end of my turn. So, when you take an order, um, on certain terms you have to pay for them, see 5, 10, 15. First turn you actually gain 5 coins for taking a... Uh, what are they called? <laughs> they are called... Export Contract Tiles, sorry. So, I have this, this is, you can only have one at a time and this is what I'm striving for. Okay, so I need... Um, I'd like to get a bakery out to convert my wheat to bread to fulfill this on my very... Uh, let's get the cow out first. I might be able to fill it this turn and get another one and get an extra five coins for my second contract. So I want to get a cow out somewhere. It's going to cost me nine plus the terrain I place it on. 9 plus 3 sounds good, it costs me 12. Okay, I now produce milk if the cow is still out there during the production phase, but what I'm thinking is I'll almost immediately consume this for the beef. I would like then, for my second action, to use one of my merchants to go to the market to purchase some bread. It's going to cost me 10, the price will go up as the demand for bread increases. I now have a bread. I have to pay that, don't I? Ten. Okay, so I have now my whiskey. I have my bread. I can now take the cattle off to produce beef and I can fulfill this order. So on my third action, I'm going to take this cattle off. Produce the beef needed with my bread and with my whiskey to fulfill this contract and gain those bonuses. So I produce three cotton. Cotton goes up to three. And I keep thinking these are like um, artichokes. The hops, I gain three points. Uh, hops isn't measured on this track, as I said, it just uh, at the end of the game you get points based on how many hops you have. So I fulfilled one order, that's pretty good. Um, I guess it cost me some cattle and I'm down to 31 coins. And I have one merchant left. But what can I do next? Um, is there something simple? Maybe I'd get... Uh, uh, these are all pretty complicated. Um, let's go long term. If I go a lot of wheat, I could produce this. Maybe a wheat strategy. Wheat, wheat. Or 
I could try and increase my... What I'm going to do is I'm going to increase my shipping. As an action, this costs 4 gold. So I'll put 5 away, get a change, increase my shipping. I can now build with a, like one lock away. So if I've got a person here, I can skip one lock, build here for example, or skip one lock and build a fisherman here, I think. And that is what I'd like to do on my next turn. So for 6 coins, <coughs> I'm going to build a fisherman here. 5, 6. This is going to give me income, so this is now up to 12 income. On my next turn, I'd like to build another fisherman over here for 6. Alright, so I'm now going to get 16 plus you know, 16 for passing, 32 coins next turn. It might be good to get some... Oh, I can't, I don't have enough coins. Um, some kind of production out. As I said, a lot of, a lot of bread. So I might take, if I actually take, uh, maybe a simple one like this, two bread, one wool. If I take that, I get five coins. And now I can always, I've got this one wheat, which I'd like to turn into bread, but I can also sell this on the market for five coins, if I want, if I'm really desperate for something. Um, I have 20 coins. I want to produce bread. I could put out a bakery. A nice cheap bakery somewhere. Um, I could produce more. It's going to be hard. 18. Mm. I could put out some sheep to get the wool that I need. Although wool is very cheap. It only costs 4. Ideally I'd like to do both, but I can't afford it. Um, I... This only cost me two, so I could put out some wheat fields this turn. Start producing a lot of wheat. Ideally though, I really want to get that bakery. Um, that'll produce one bread for me. Which means I'd have to buy a bread next turn, which will cost me eleven. I might do that. And I, maybe I could do both. Yeah. Is there any other space that only costs two to build on? That's what I really want. There's one there. That's off the, oh, that's off the board. I can't place a fisher person there. Fisherman. Um, cause that's off in the shaded area. It's out of, out of play. Um, I'll get my six coins back. Made a mistake there. Um, I could just place a lumberjack somewhere. I could place a lumberjack. It's gonna be very expensive though. I'll save my coins for now. Um, yeah, see the great shaded areas can't be built on in a solo game. They're mar very narrowly shaded. Um, oh, look, the advantage there is it gives me coins to perhaps build both. So I need 18 plus 2 is 20, 28. 29, 30, 31. I currently have 26. And if I sell my wheat, I'd have 31. I'm going to sell my wheat. It gives me 5 coins. And the price goes up. Then I am going to build this on the fields here. For 18 plus 2 is 20. Let's see if my maths is right. 20. Then I'm going to build a bakery somewhere. It's going to cost me 8 plus the cost of the field. 8, 9, 10, 11. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. That's all my money gone. But, uh, all my money gone, but uh, I need, I need my, uh, use a merchant for that. You've always got to use a merchant when you buy and sell. You start with two merchants. I've I've sold two things. Um, sold. Sorry, the price goes down. I didn't buy that. I sold it. So wheat is now cheaper. Um, okay. I think that's all good. Um, yes, yeah, so I've got my field out there. I've upgraded my shipping. Um, I've fulfilled one export contract. I've secured another one. 
And now I pass, and when I pass, I gain 16 coins. And now we do production. So each worker gives me money. I have three fishermen out, they give me 12 coins. Uh, I produce basic goods, so I produce two wheat. I can then produce processed goods with my basic resources. So I'm going to use a wheat to produce a bread. And you can see there are little arrows here to show that this produces that. Uh, next, next objective might be to get a dist distillery out because it's worth a lot more than just the wheat. The wheat is worth 4, as we've seen. Whiskey is worth 11. Bread is now worth 11. Um, so they're worth almost three times as much as the, the raw material. Um, okay. I gain glory points based on the bonus. I only have one upgrade. Oh no, two upgrades. You count the spaces to the left. So one, two, nothing here. So I get two glory points. Where's my glory marker? I'm blue. Two points for blue. Uh, now, there's a special phase here in the solo game, um, which affects the market at the beginning of rounds two and five. So now in the first turn, um, the very first thing we do is we roll these dice three times. So roll, and this affects the prices, so wheat goes down three. So I can buy lots of cheap, one, two, three, wheat. Did I say wheat? I meant wool. One, roll it again. Whiskey goes up three. One, two, three. So whiskey's very expensive. I don't want to buy that, I want to produce it. And finally, whiskey, is it whiskey? Yes, whiskey goes up a further two. Uh, the prices already changed for whiskey, so I have to roll it again. Uh, bread goes up one. That's nice. I can sell my bread if I want, although it's the same price. Now the final, this is a plus one. What we do now is we we normally draw tiles, but the, the good in the plus one space would be removed. So I'm not going to fill plus one. I'm just going to fill the other two spaces. If there was already good there, it would be removed, leaving that space blank as it is. Um, okay, that's the end of uh, the first turn. Okay, I'll return to the start of the turn. I start by preparing. This flips the previous round scoring marker. Um, refill the export contracts, which I've just done. Um, and retrieve my merchants from the market. Now I go back to my action phase and with my money, I think I'd like to produce... Oh, what have I got here? Sorry, I should be focusing on what I needed to buy. I need to produce... I don't know, need to buy a wool and I need to buy a bread to fulfill this. I have one bread, so I want to buy bread, buy a wool, then I'm, I can fulfill that thing. So I'm going to buy bread for my first action. That's expensive. It cost me 11. And I want to buy a wool. So I'm going to buy a wool, and it cost me 3. But now, I have two bread and a wool. I send them off, fulfill that contract. Yay. Uh, which frees me up. As I said, you can only have one of these at a time. Which frees me up to buy another contract. Wood, uh, bread and whiskey would be nice. Uh, lots of bread, if I could put another, another bread out. Um, mutton. Uh, ooh, mutton and wool. So I could get that at the end of this turn. Produce the wool at the end of this turn, then sell the... Oh, it's beef, sorry, not mutton. Um, what do I want to do? Uh, I could produce... I really want to get this, this whiskey distillery out, so it's going to cost me 10. I've only got 4 coins. Um, maybe I should get... I'm producing 2 wheat. Yeah, I want to get some a, a distillery out, so it's going to cost me 10, and I have up to 4 coins to build this on. This is probably not the most efficient use of... I'll build that there, so it's going to cost me 13... 10... 11... 12... I'll probably just delete this, 13... Alright, so 13 to build that... 10 plus 3... Um, and then I want to take this before it gets expensive. At this turn, it doesn't cost me, you see the zero here? I don't get any money, I don't pay any money. 
Uh, I'm going to take the whiskey and wheat order. Sorry, whiskey and bread order. I'll only be able to produce one bread, but next turn I can buy bread. I can place some sheep, get the mutton. It's expensive, but it's a nice bonus here. Five plus the cotton. Okay. I think that is now the end of my turn. I'll flip that to show that's done. Um, I should keep an eye on these bonuses too. I haven't gone through what they actually do. <laughs> In the last game, I, I almost completely ignored them. Uh, okay, that's the end of the turn. I pass. I get 16 coins. That was a pretty quick turn. I then uh, gain income. 12 income from my fisherman. I produce raw goods, which is two wheat, and I'm immediately going to produce them convert them rather into a bread and a whiskey. So I just need one more bread and the cattle. That's expensive to get that cattle. Um, everything has meat on it so everything needs meat to uh, to be produced. Um, so I've produced, processed my goods. Scoring. I didn't even look at the scoring marker. Uh, what is that one? That is two glory points for each of your deployed workers, including fishermen. Uh, maybe I should focus more on that. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I get 12 points. Maybe I should focus on that. 12 glory points. Brings up to 14. All right, let's see. Uh, that's production. That is scoring done. Um... We then do, I think, the price changes three times. One, bread up three. Oh no, if it's high, it uh, you basically ignore that if it's not even. If the price is uh, above or below. So whiskey comes down one. The price wants to return to this equilibrium. So you ignore the plus or minus if the current cost is above or below. And that is milk up two. And of course milk is on equilibrium, that line along there, it goes up two. Alright, now the last one was a plus two. So that would be removed. And I draw one for there and one for there. Um, now into the third round and I need to fulfill my order. I have my whiskey, I have my bread, I want to get a sheep out so I can get the mutton in a cheap area. Uh, there are no cheap areas. I've built it. Oh, here we go. Right here. Three is about as cheap as I'm going to get. So it's going to cost me 11. So that's 8 plus 3 is 11. That's an expensive piece of mutton. I'm going to immediately use that. Sh no, I need another bread first. Two bread. So now I have to buy, buy a bread. The price of bread is reduced to 10. So I put my merchant out. Oops, I have to claim those first. And then I'll put my merchant out to purchase bread, which is going to set the price up. It cost me 10, which I've paid. And I get a bread. Now, I can take my mutton off the board. Two bread and a whiskey. Oi! Oh no. What just happened? What just happened? I bought bread. <laughs> I pressed the button, everything undone. Uh, okay, my sheep's out on the board, so I get that back. I send those off. I fulfill this order. This means I get a free build, and I don't pay the cost of the terrain. Now, <laughs> I want to look at what's next. I want to produce more whiskey, yes. Mm, it's Everything's got cheese on it. Uh, or cattle. This is not great for my production. I'm not producing any milk to convert to cheese. I don't have any cheese factories. Maybe I'll look at this bonus and see what it does. Um, okay, so it means... Uh, where is it? It's not an expansion one. It's not summarised on my... on the rulebook. This scoring tile does not appear... in the rulebook appendix. Oh, here we go, it's a Kickstarter contribution. Gain two glory, 
for each of your occupied spaces with a cost of five pounds or six pounds. Okay, that's not a lot of points, but given it's free, I can build in a five pound or six pound space. Um, maybe I should build one of these things. What do I want? Cheese, a cow. This one might be probably better because it's. I've already got. I can produce whiskey, and the cow can produce the cheese, and I can eat it. All right, so I want to produce a cattle on there because it's a five space. I think I want to produce there. Maybe across the river here. Uh, I can't go there. I can cross t a river to go there. All right, I'm going to go there to open some of this terrain up. Um, so from here I can cross one lock space to land there. I only pay for the cattle because it's a free bonus, so that cost me eight, which is all my money. Oops, I yeah, got rid of the bonus tile, okay. Um, I still have this wheat, which I'm not doing anything with, so I might sell that for four. So I'll use my merchant, another merchant, to sell my wheat for four coins. I can't do anything with those four coins, I don't think. I could put another worker out, I guess. No, that cost six. Alright, so I'm saving four coins. Um, oh no, I get to, I have to pay to take that if I want that good, that order. Now it costs five on this turn, I only have four coins. So I have to pass. I'm going to gain 16 coins for passing. I produce. Uh, my workers give me 12 coins. So 10, 11, 12. I feel less, far less efficient than I did my last solo game. Um, I produce two wheat, which I'm going to convert into a bread and a whiskey. I also produce one milk, which I, sh I really want to get a cheese factory out. Um, yeah. Alright, scoring. I've only got one building on a five or a six site, which is this one here. Okay. So I produced a milk. I can't do much with it at the moment. I need to convert it into cheese. And that all costs a lot of money. Alright. Um, yeah, I've produced my goods. Raw materials. Um, I think the market phase now. So, we... Roll the dice three times. Whiskey adjusts, so it will automatically go down one towards that sort of neutral position. Wool up two. And milk up two. I could sell my milk for seven. And plus two goes away. Well, there is no plus two, so everything stays how it is. That's great. I would have really loved a new order. Um, at the start of my turn, I have flipped that already. Oops, sorry about that. I get my merchants back. And I do my actions. Now, uh, bread, milk, whiskey. Bread, milk, whiskey. It's going to cost me $10 to take an order. I have to take an order from here now. See the 10 there? Uh, I've got... I'm not producing anything. This is what I want. I think I'll take this one. It's going to cost me 10 coins. It's expensive. Alright, so now I have a whiskey. I'll produce another one at the end of this turn. I have a milk, which I want to convert into cheese. I need a cheese factory. Where can I build my cheese factory? This is going to cost me 8. I've got lots of coins. So as cheap as possible, 8. Plus 3 is 11. 10, 11. I can now convert milk into cheese. Uh, it might also be nice to get another cheese factory out and try and get something like this one on the final turn. Or this one. Both of those are um, quite nice. I can eat my sh Maybe I get a sheep out and I'll just go for a quick... That's a really easy order to do. Is it worth it? I don't think so, because it's going to cost me 15 coins. I might... Uh, and then the sheep are going to cost 16, 22 to get out. I can... Hmm. 
let's work this out. I'm going to produce a cheese. I can take the cattle off. Maybe I just put... I'm thinking I can get one more order on the last turn, but which one? Maybe a simple one. Aim low. Or I can buy. Buy some cheese. Not producing a lot of money, so maybe I'll just... <laughs> aim for that one. So I'll get a sheep out. Oh, is it worth it? Is it really worth it? Two cotton. I've already got a heap of cotton. And they'll only be worth because they're the most common. They're the only good being produced. Oh no, there's two sugar. I forgot to put the sugar out. Oh, I've got the sugars. I uh, no. What I do? I don't know why I moved cotton up. Should be two, sh two sugar. Oh, cotton should be on six. I haven't produced any tobacco. I've got lots of hops. These are worth a lot of victory points. Um, so if I can do this one, I get some tobacco, which will be worth a lot. Or I just get this one. That'll be worth six victory points. That'll be worth a lot if I can get all those out. I'm going to need a lot of cheese and a lot of... I basically need to get two sheep out. That's going to be 16... I don't have the coins for it. Uh, I could in the final turn. Uh, I can't get any fishermen out because I can't reach any locks. This is out of play. I can't reach the ports. I'm really focused on the centre of the boards. I haven't really used the ports effectively. Um, what's this? I get one victory point. For every unit of cotton, tobacco, and sugar. Uh, maybe I just... Yeah, okay. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to produce... I'm going to fulfill this at the, end, at the start of the next turn. And then I'll be producing a milk. So I'll have a beef. I'm going to go this one. So aim for this one. I'll get a sheep out. So it's going to be eight. Oh, I only have up to three coins. I can build... I can build somewhere. I can build here. Alright, so I'm going to build some sheep here. 8 plus 3. 8 plus 3. Paid. Done. That's all my money gone. I I could sell my bread, I guess. Should have thought about that earlier. Uh, I have merchants. I may as well sell my bread because I can't. I'm not going to be able to use it. So I'm going to sell this bread for 11. Could be able to do something else. Um, I don't want to put any workers out now because it's inefficient. Um, how about getting another cheese factory out? Could I get another cheese factory? Oh, eight. There's another three space I can build on. There's a two space over here. Let's go for the cheese factory. I'm not producing. I am. I will, I will produce two cheese. All right. Let's see how what happens anyway. Um, I could sell the milk, but I want to turn that into cheese with the next milk I produce. So that's the end of my turn. 16 coins for passing. 12 for my workers. Okay. Um, production. I get two wheat, which I'm converting into a bread and a whiskey, which I'll put down there. I get a milk, which I'm going to convert into a cheese, and I'm going to convert my other milk into another cheese, and I get one wool. All right, so I do have enough to fulfill that order if I take my cattle off the board. They're over here. Um, end of the turn, I roll the dice to affect prices. Oops, I just deleted the dice. I don't know where they are. Where'd my dice go? There they are. Thank you, dice. <laughs> I press delete instead of roll. Um, bread goes down three. One, two, three. I don't want... It's not much good. Cheese goes down too. Well, it's going to be cheaper to buy cheese if I need to buy it. And finally, 
Uh, bread. Whiskey goes down one. That's all right. Right, so it's a negative one. So this one is gone, and we replace the other two. Ah, oh, four whiskey, two cheese, and a mutton. I could do that. I think I've got the mutton, and I could just buy one more cheese. All right. Start of my next turn. The first thing I'm going to do is fulfill this order. So two whiskey, a cheese, and I just deleted the order. Two whiskey, a cheese, and my cattle over here. Let's me fulfill that. I get four sugar goes up. One, two, three, four. I get five coins, which could come in handy on this final turn. Oops, that should be flipped over. I get one victory point for everything I've produced. So, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight victory points. Twenty-four. That's that one there. That should be flipped over now. I'm now on the final turn. Um, I didn't count that one because I just completed it, and I don't count the hops either. So I just completed that one. Now, yeah. 33 coins. Uh, am I going to be able to fulfill? What have I got? Cheese, bread, and wool. And one mutton. One mutton would be good. I could fulfill that one. I could buy two cheese. I've got a wool. Which one's better? That one's probably... Hmm. I think they're much the same. I've got a wool. I could buy two cheese. Three sugar. I think this one should be slightly better. What do I have more of? This six cotton, four sh six sugar. So cotton and sugar are both even. Um, that's worth two more victory points. But it's going to cost me, yeah. I think it's slightly better. So I'll take that for 15 coins. Last game, last round, export markers cost 15. Uh, and then, am I going to afford this cheese? It costs 8 to 16. Yes, I can just afford it. I have one cheese, I have one wool. 16 coins to buy. I should get my, my merchants back, sorry. To buy two cheese. Put two merchants up there. It costs. Did I pay 16? I think I did. And I get two cheese, which I'll immediately spend to fulfill this order. And I get one free upgrade. Um, I might take another merchant, just in case I need to sell something to buy something. Um, that's about it. I can't buy any more orders. I could sell my bread. It is worth two victory points at the end of the game, though, I think. Um, hmm. Yeah, one point for every glory point, one point for every basic good, two for every process good. One pound for every ten, so I don't want to sell that for the money. It's not worth it. Um, hops are certainly valuable. Cotton, tobacco, sugar. Uh, that's it. Um, that's the end of the game. It's the end of the fifth turn. I will just get scoring for this. Oh, one point for mutton or beef. I have one here. So that's one victory point. That's not a lot. All right. Now... I don't think this is a good game. Let's add up my victory points. I need a notepad or something anyway. I have 25 on here. I have no... I do production at the end. Okay, so... Where did my, I deleted my cattle. <laughs> Should have put them back. Did I delete them or put them back? I think I deleted them. Um, I'll just make sure I'm doing this right. Two for each unit of meat on your fulfilled export. Okay, so it's this stuff here. Good thing I produced all that meat. So one, two, three. That's worth six victory points. So I go 25, 31. I gain a 30 marker. Yeah, that's that final scoring tile. So now I'm on 31. I produce basic resources. I ate my cow. So he's got there. I produce a wool. I don't produce cheese. I produce 
two wheat, which converts to bread and a whiskey. I do gain 16 coins for passing, and I get 12 coins for my workers. That is just enough for all the three victory points from coins. Alright, so, basic goods, I have one wall worth one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, thir plus 31 is 38, 39, 40, 41, Hops, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 57, plus my goods, 57. Now there's no tobacco, so it's worth 5, 57, <coughs> um, cane goes up, th uh, wool goes up 3, 57, cotton, sorry, 57, plus 9 times 3, 57 plus 27 is 64, 84, 84 plus 4, 6 is 84 plus 24 is 108. That's not a great score. So my final score here is 108. That puts me in the newbie category. I think last game I played I got about 120, 125 or so. Um, if you've seen anything I've done wrong, if I've made any uh, errors with that final calculation, let me know. Um, but that was pretty quick. That's a game of clans, solo game of clans of Caledonia. I don't think I used my clan effectively. They weren't a great clan. The clan I had last game let me build on sort of the mouths of rivers at a two coin discount. There are some really great clans in there that give you let you sell milk for eight coins each and all this kind of stuff. Um, but there you go, clans of Caledonia. You, you know, a lot like Terra Mystic in terms of you're placing buildings on the board and you're unlocking these bonuses. They kind of relate to each other, they synergize. You convert your milk into cheese. Um, you can then eat your cows for beef. You can convert your wheat into these kind of things. Hopefully, as I've rushed through that very quickly, you get an idea of how it plays. Um, nice and smooth, easy to teach, um, and um, yeah, very interesting. Lots of decisions to make. It's Clans of Caledonia.